Major General Marcellet Harris didn't envision making history. She just wanted to be the best, serving in the Air Force, repairing planes in Vietnam. She told an audience at BET's 2010 awards show that she was determined to break I barriers. It was wonderful. They said a woman can't do this job. Being told that I couldn't do a job just because I'm a woman, that's probably the silliest thing you ever heard. She quickly moved up the ranks, becoming the first female aircraft maintenance officer and one of the first two women commanding at the Air Force Academy. By 1995, she was the first black woman to earn the rank of Major General. Harris retired in 1997 as the highest-ranking female officer in the Air Force and the highest-ranking black woman in the Department of Defense. She worked in the White House under four presidents. Her daughter, Tanisha, remembers. When doors were closed because of the fact that she was a woman or a black woman, it rattled something in her because she just saw herself as a military officer doing a job that was in front of her. Harris died in September at the age of 75. On Thursday, this American hero who'd achieved her goal of being the best was buried in Arlington National Cemetery with full honors. She earned it. She did that. She made that happen. And holy cow, that's my mom. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.